Hello and welcome to Model Dads. Italy battles caught my eye a couple of weeks back in the unlikely location of UK news agent and stationery chain W8 Smith and courtesy of Battlefront I've got the opportunity to go through a copy with you today. Italy Battles is a 120 glossy page magazine retailing for £8 from Battlefront and contains a history of the Italian campaign, seven flames of war scenarios, a warrior, linked mission and axis of attack campaigns, the infantry aces rules and campaign including a write-up and an interview with the boys over at What Would Patton Do on running an online campaign. As seasoned players and spectators will gather, this material has been compiled from Dogs and Devils, Casino and War Games Illustrated, and updated for version 3 by Wayne Turner. Italy Battles follows a familiar format, opening with a brief summary of the Italian theatre before launching headlong into the seven historical scenarios, starting with the Battle for Ottona on the Adriatic Sector in December 1943. Casa Berardi pits 3rd Canadian Infantry from the Royal 22nd Regiment, the Van Dus, against the 3rd Falschemjager Regiment in a cauldron battle before these same two opponents face off again in the ill-fated Operation Orange Blossom scenario. The action moves forward to February 1944 and Operation Fischfang, the German counterattacks against the Allied bridgehead Anzio on the 16th of February 1944, with US infantry from the 1st Battalion, the 179th Infantry Regiment, defending against the 725th Grenadier Regiment. We leap forward to May 1944 and Operation Buffalo, with US infantry engaged at Cisterna before going on a raid with the Joint Canadian-American Special Service Force at Coretto Alto. The next 17 pages outline how to set up a Flames of War campaign, linking single missions together or running an axis of attack campaign based upon a historical operation or campaign. Two axis of attack campaigns are provided focusing on the road to Anzio and the fighting around Monte Cassino, with the latter adapting the basic formula advancing or retreating across a series of strategic locations by giving the Allied player one of two pathways to choose from. Heavy tank pawn bridges the gap between campaigns and the next two historical scenarios, Valmontone and Bridge over the Savio River, which pitch US Task Force Howells against elements of the Hermann Goring Recon Squadron and the Canadian Sea Fourth Highlanders up against 26 Panzer Division respectively, with the latter featuring the remarkable private Smokey Smith. An updated version of Flames of War's excellent Infantry Aces Escalation campaign comes next. Players start with their favourite 500 point infantry force, commanded by their personalised character, a warrior with special abilities, which grows in size as the three turn campaign progresses. A less useful, significant, but nonetheless entertaining read follows as Mike Hort and Sean Goddardson take us through their in house Infantry Aces campaign on some fantastic looking tables. Italy Battles closes with a recap of what would Patton do's global campaigns before highlighting their next endeavour in Italy. I've mourned the loss of the historical scenarios ever since they were removed from the second Bagration handbook or thereabouts, and it's good to see playable historical games being promoted for Flames of War. Nevertheless, from a consumer's perspective, it's fair to point out that most of these scenarios and more, including Captain Paul Triquet, are freely available for download from the Flames of War website, albeit not tweaked for version 3. If, like me, you're new to campaigns, the section on Axis of Attack games is very interesting. The parameters mapped out to balance force composition, replacement and terrain, whilst ensuring player participation within historical parameters is slick and it's easy to see how this template can be usefully adjusted to fit other theatres or rule systems as you see fit. I'm a big fan of Infantry Aces as an ideal format for enjoyable smaller games and an accessible introduction to Flames of War, so it's great to see it updated and accessible again. If you're new to Flames of War and or the Italian theatre and have recently purchased the revamped Road to Rome and Fortress Italy at Intelligence Handbooks, then I have no hesitation in recommending that you add Italy battles to your reading list. Similarly, if you missed Infantry Aces or the Flame of War campaign material the first time round because you weren't playing in this particular theatre, now is an affordable time to conveniently catch up. If you're a veteran campaigner through the soft underbelly of the Axis, then you're likely to be more than familiar with the bulk of material in Italy battles, and may or may not be so willing to part with more of your lira. Ciao.